Such a cool dude, such a boss. I is funny. Just an aces human being. The big cuddly teddy bear. Such a humble guy. Then we Blood Eagle King Ayla, which was something that I was looking forward to doing when I signed on to the show. Because uh, Alexander is sick. I'll never forget it, two hardest days of my life. It was freezing, it was snowing, raining sideways. Poor Ivan, who was playing King Ayla, oh had to be shirtless God. at 11 p.m. while you were smashing his back to pieces. Uh, Jordan um, putting me down on the ground, and every single time I hit the ground, the ground just stole every warmth in my body. Yeah, but King Al had his shirt cut open, so he was he almost was like a beast. He was that freezing. Day. Yeah, Ivan Ivan K, such mm. a cool dude. He just showed up, shirtless, uh, got throw thrown over uh, a big lump of wood, and then uh, uh, Alexander plays Baron just started smacking his back for an hour. And he just screamed throughout the entire thing. Cut. And he was like, okay, perfect. Thank you for the night. Thank you, guys. Thank you. And we were like, how did you? Boss. How did you? Such a boss. He just took it like a champ. Huge legend, yeah. Yeah, that's really awesome. And I got to give my hands out to uh, my 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 handshake to Ivan. Like he was always saying he's old, but he was a champion. He would go through the pain. I think he was sore probably uh, by the time we started to shoot. Cause you got to remember, we were there at least two months just doing act action training rehearsals every day. By the time we got to close to the end scenes he was just he, he could barely walk so he was actually really utilizing the wheelchair it brought so much uh production value because he was really in pain now that i think about it. like we could barely touch him at the at the end and those those scenes he was supposed to be in pain because you know he was all you know there was things that happened to him during the fight in the movie so um yeah, it, he he really embraced that. Like he was like, I'm in pain, but I guess he thought it was really good uh, for the movie because it was real pain. Like this dude was really hurt, you know, and he was he went through it like a champion, man. Uh, he's very good. He's uh, very engaged. Uh, he really loves it and he's also asking questions. Is it right like you do? Is this okay? Is this okay? And he really moves great. Imagine he's very tall and he looks uh, very slow but powerful. And if you walk, bam, 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 there's moving something. All the other good guys are very small and he was really big and it was a really awesome picture. He's very, very uh, nice. He uh, was talking to me uh, very much about everything. I asked him about the... Uh, my movements, if they're okay for him, if he is able to do that, it was always like, yes, no problem, let's keep going, uh, it looks fantastic, etc. So he's really, really, very, very nice guy and also engaged guy. He just wanted to do it. You feel that, you feel the power and also his, uh, his, his mood, you know. So he's pretty cool and uh, relaxed, very nice and yeah, I liked it. What makes Ivan special, he's, he's awesome. And working on Vikings with him was an incredible treat. As, as great as he is at playing these kind of very dark or sometimes incredibly violent characters as he has um, over the course of his career, the thing that obviously makes him stand out as a person and an actor is his, his deep humanity. His sense of humanity, his understanding of humanity, the gentleness and the depth of his soul and his emotional intelligence. And he is just an aces human being. I would just straight up ask, like, you know, if you don't mind me asking, Ivan, you know, uh, you know, what is that? What is that thing that you're doing there or? You know, why are you clearing your throat the way he was? He was like really clearing his throat, but he was doing it for a reason. Like he was doing it in a certain way and just his 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 presence and and just him being open to other actors. Because, I mean, he could have been a straight up asshole with all his, uh, 
you know, with all his experience. And then you got the two other goons that just come in here with four or five years of acting experience. But he was told he totally treated us like equals, which I would say is the most important thing that was for me to feel comfortable around him and, you know, deliver some lines and, and make you know, make suggestions and uh, collaborate and work with him in, instead of working, uh, you know, under him. I, I benefited a lot just just by talking with him and learning his personality, not not so much acting, but knowing how to behave even when you have that much experience. He was such a humble guy. And just knowing that that personality there helped me you know, and and help me be a uh, a stronger actor, I would say. What I would like most about Ivan, he works hard and he plays hard. And he takes his work seriously, but he doesn't take himself seriously. And I learned a lot from the big guy, and when I was in the ferryman with him, he he respected and nurtured me as his understudy, and I really appreciate that. And Ivan um, is um, a massive guy. He's an imposing figure, and he plays it's so mean and big, hairy kind of. Then let's torture her until she tells us. Nothing too serious. Cut off a few fingers. Pull out a tooth or two. <laughs> Man, but actually he's a real, he's a big cuddly teddy bear in real life. Ivan is, is that dude. I cannot keep up with Ivan. Ivan is funny. I enjoy, he's like a big cuddle bear. He is a hoot to be around.